Uh, what's up, guys? Um, it's like middle of the day, super cold out, and uh, got the car out here and uh, pulling the engine. So, currently, at the moment, this is wedged in there because the chain I put on the throttle body is uh, too tight. I need to put some more slack on that because right now it's really really um tilting the engine forward and i need it to be tilted like back so that this mount can come out and uh, this one's perfect in the way that that trans will be down and this one will come out so it'll kind of come out like, like that off to with the right side of the engine coming out first all right so uh i lied <laughs> I was half a half light, you know. Uh, the back did end up uh, fixing that, like adjusting these back chains. Got that unwedged, but it's not coming out on enough of an angle. Okay, so now that um, this is all freed, um, that's up, that's out, and the back. Team out is out, and engine's able to move about. But the only problem I'm having is this guy right here. It's like the pulley for the belts, for the alternator. And I think the power steering one's still on there. So what I'm gonna try to do, I'm gonna see if they sell one that eliminates the power steering because this thing is really hard to get in here. You can see like I hit it with a hammer before because it got wedged in there. And I don't want to hit it with the hammer this time, so I'm gonna see what I can do here. I might have to take off maybe this bracket here. It's just bolted on, and then this uh, trans mount that goes onto the bracket, so that way I can just shift the whole engine to the left and get clear of that. So uh, I'm gonna think what I'm gonna do, and then I'll, I'll try doing whatever it is that I feel like doing. All right, so basically, we pretty much have it out. Or I have it pretty much out. So what I did was, I took off this side, the bracket here. And after that, then I was able to take off the mount. And uh, all went pretty smoothly. Uh, pretty smooth. Um, yeah, I didn't forget to disconnect anything, nothing got held up this time so pretty happy about that so yeah probably gonna since the car is lowered on springs and i had to use jacks on both sides to lift it up so the engine the cherry picker can get underneath the control arms there probably just gonna move this back and then move the car out of the way and then we'll figure out where everything is gonna go in here because it's like a zero room i might have to move my system onto the shelf or something but yeah we'll figure that out So engine's on the ground, and I'm just gonna lower the car back down. I'm just gonna push it out of the way, since uh, no car's in the driveway right now. So I'm just gonna push it back, just out here, just so I can uh, figure out what's going on in the garage here. Car's gonna be sitting up pretty high now because uh, no, no engine there. Uh, that looks empty.
So now this thing's just a bare shell, minus you know that harness that's still inside there and the heater core. Other than that, this thing's bare, bare bones. I love it. And now this is all the dust from the body work. I just kept pushing it underneath the car. But yeah, I really gotta figure this out. It's looking like it's uh, 418 and uh, she got a um, gotta clean up in here. Yeah, hopefully, uh, no one takes this thing, you know, while I have it in the or have the garage door closed because that would suck. Um, yeah, should be fine. I'll just like leave it here, you know. Hopefully, no one takes it. Oh, my jack. No, I'm gonna bring my jack in. Oh, jack's easier. Yeah. Alright, so, got pretty dark, super cold, but I managed to get H22 over here. I gotta still make some room, but I got my car in here so it doesn't, the bodywork doesn't start messing up and doesn't start rusting. Because obviously there's moisture outside, it's winter time, and uh, no better than that. So let's get, uh, let's get this car in here. I'm just gonna have to work around it for tonight. I'm gonna have to see what I can do about some shelving over there. So I got a shelf up there to help my dad. Um, so yeah, it's looking pretty clean now. So yeah, I can probably get my system up there. And I can probably just leave both engines right here. Got the shelf up. Got like a speaker with no like box or anything on this side. And got one uh, with its little box up there. And got the CD player and amp up there pretty freaking heavy I had it all the way to this side and it was really wild one afraid it was gonna snap so I moved it over towards where the bracket is uh, I'm just gonna leave my hoist here for now I'll take it apart uh, and put it in the shed a little later or maybe not even because I'm gonna have to move this engine around I uh, wanted to work on it but yeah got this got the D series beside it but yeah it's looking uh, really clean I think that's what I'm gonna call it for today oh um, it's like 11.30 and uh, pretty tired here. 